Okay guys, so I have this triple box, triple treat box from Pizza Hut. And I just gave Salah his pizza and his wedges. And I'm taking the wings and I'm gonna try the cookie for you guys. Whoa. Let's see if the cat likes this box. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> One thing I've noticed about Foodie Beauty in the last few years is that she is chronically out of breath. No matter what she is doing, she is always out of breath. And for some reason, I guess she doesn't determine that to be very concerning for her because I think she's just been living with it for such a long time that she's just deduced that this is just how she's supposed to be, which is not the case. It's not good to be this out of breath. Just some simply like, I don't even know what she did before this. I guess like taking the boxes out of the box and then sitting down and getting prepared to eat. Which, by the way, she shouldn't be eating this given the fact that she literally has super diabetes and when the time of this video was created, she was complaining that she was so fat that she was concerned that when she went on her trip, which it was Taiwan, uh, she was concerned that she wasn't gonna be able to like properly be able to like navigate the country <laughs> because she was so fat that she was gonna have to like sit down or like have rest spots or like pit crews. We're gonna have to stop and like rehydrate her or something like that. You know those big gasoline tanks that they like plug into the, the sides of the cars to fuel up or whatever? You're gonna need like one of those with like Gatorade just perpetually pouring salt in it so she can rehydrate herself and get those electrolytes. But um, a lot of people have been asking me to react to Foodie Beauty and I always say the same thing. I have been. We <laughs> please come on live stream. We do Foodie Beauty like not every day, but like a good amount of times. Um, I think I stream something close to six or seven days a week in some times and we do it for like three or four hours every single night. So if you want to come in and you want to watch some Foodie Beauty or something else, you can always come in, always recommend videos for us to watch or whatever. It's a chill time. Um, I don't necessarily like Foodie Beauty. I think that she is a terrible person. I think she lies a lot. And I think also she has this ability to manipulate people into thinking what the real problem is is actually not the problem at all. And I, I don't know why so many people believe it. Like recently, she had a big problem, big controversy with her cat. And her cat was in heat. And uh, the cat was priorly in heat like a year ago or something like that. And she decided that she was going to get a shot to postpone the effects of the cat being in heat instead of, like, getting the surgery. And for some reason, I see all these other reactors saying, oh, it's the problem is that the cat's in heat. I can't believe Foodie Beauty would have the cat in heat. Like, I can't believe this. And I'm always thinking, like, um, does anybody care? Like, does anybody care if the cat's actually in heat? That's not actually the problem. The problem is, if you guys didn't know, so the cat came back to heat after a year later and Foodie Beauty was upset and annoyed that the cat was meowing and looking for BBC or cat BBC. I don't know. I've never actually had a cat that was not fixed. So I've only ever had female cats and that wasn't my, that wasn't by choice. It's not like I'm a, you know, I'm looking for a harem of cats or whatever. I just had a cat and that cat just happened to be a woman and that cat was like in my life for like 20 years. So I didn't have a choice. But anyway, um, Foodie Beauty had this cat that was in heat and she was annoyed that she had to deal with the side effects of that cat. So she did other things, her words, not mine, by putting in a room for hours at a time and <laughs> leaving the window open and then her saying, but it had food, it had water, it had loving life. It, it would be worse if it was out here. She was trying to justify it. And for some reason, a lot of reactors were saying, no, uh, the problem is that the cat's in heat and that's an issue. Foodie Beauty, I can't believe her cat's in heat. And I'm just thinking... Are you guys dumb? Like, is everybody just dumb? Like, that's is that really a problem? There are plenty of people out here that fundamentally disagree with the idea of fixing your cat. You don't have to do that. Like, it's okay to not do that. It's totally fine, right? If you think that it's, like, going to decrease the quality of life, then you should get it fixed or you should get it neutered or whatever. That's fine. If you want to do that, you can do that. If you want to do the other thing, you can. But the problem is she instead trying to, like, accept the responsibilities of having that cat in heat, she's instead not do that. She, she put the cat in the room and she chose to, like, be around not be around it so she was like choosing to be in the uh the guest area of her apartment building i guess and she chose to not be around it so she didn't have to hear the cat meowing or struggling with the fact that it was in heat and all this other stuff and she would find weird ways to try to gaslight us into thinking that it wasn't as bad as it actually was by saying things like it's not that bad even though my cat's literally in this room for like hours at a time it's got food it's got water and i love it and all this other stuff like okay that's awesome bro real real great like for some reason a lot of people were just pointing it out that the cat being in heat no nobody cares <laughs> literally nobody bro uh i know a dude that lives on a farm that doesn't do anything with his cats he just lets them free roam and stuff like that and some of them die from coyotes it's really sad but anyway it doesn't matter um she's in kuwait sorry uh she she went to taiwan 
without her husband. And a lot of people were, I don't know, shocked by that. I, I am not shocked by that. Foodie Beauty is literally, uh, whenever they're together, her and her husband, it's always the most awkward, the most awkward conversations, the most awkward interactions I've ever seen in my life. It's almost kind of like two people that have never actually interacted with each other in their entire life, or like two aliens from different species trying to make it seem like they're human beings, but they're like different fundamentally, and they like looked at one person as a reflection of how they're supposed to act in relationships, and that's what it's basically like. It's so awkward. And uh, they have no chemistry at all. I don't know why they're together. A lot of people tell me that Foodie Beauty had somehow managed to convince Salah that she was going to get him, like, Canadian citizenship. But apparently she's, like, $35,000 in debt because she just didn't pay her taxes for, like, three years. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's what people tell me. And then she can't go back to she can't go back there because she doesn't want to pay off those taxes. So she's just living in Kuwait, but she's not there because uh, she doesn't live there. Technically she's on like a tourist visa. So she can only stay there for three months at a time, which is one of the reasons why she actually has to travel every once in a while to renew that visa. So like the process, I guess goes, you live in Kuwait for about three months and then you travel to a different country, presumably Thailand, because it's very cheap to travel there. That's what people tell me. I don't know. I've never been outside the United States. And then you go to Thailand, refresh the visa and then come back. <laughs> And that's what you do. Seems really, really counterintuitive. I don't know what the fuck she's doing there. Um, I don't know why she's with Salah. Seems like they have no interactions. I get that they can't show publicly speaking any type of affection because that's like against the the cultural norms of that society, which doesn't make any sense to me because like whenever you watched anything that had to do with Foodie Beauty, it seems like she is literally the absolute opposite of everything that traditional Muslims believe in. I mean, this woman was literally farting on camera. I mean, she still farts on camera. I guess that's not like, you know, what are, what are Muslims going to do about that? Like, oh, yeah, I farted on camera. I don't know. But uh, she would also, like, twerk, and she would have major drama, and she would do some deplorable stuff on on camera, literally talking about how her vagina was a bread factory and because she had a monster yeast infection. I don't know, dude. Like, everything that Foodie Beauty is is, like, almost the exact opposite of what a Muslim person, <laughs> in my mind, would embody. But we're going to get into this foodie beauty clip, so maybe we'll watch a whole bunch of stuff. We'll just shoot around and stuff like that because people have been asking for it, and I'm here to deliver. Um, yum. Yum. I just want to point out as well before we go any further, she did say that Salah also got some of this. There was a three box. She got two of them. Really think about how a grown man only got one box, and foodie beauty is chilling here looking down the barrel of a fully loaded, a fully loaded, a fully loaded pizza, some... I think this is uh, brownies. I think it's a brownie cake. And then I believe over here on the right side, that right there is chicken wings. Um, glazed up apparently, dude. You Can you imagine your husband eating less than you and you somehow don't think that's a problem even though your diabetes are literally supercharged? Can you say yum? I have a creamy ranch. Oh, yeah, of course the ranch, yeah. Parmesan wings. People sleeping on how much the ranch is. The ranch is very high in calorie. And I'm Gotta start with that. first. I'm trying some of this cookie. Oh, it's crumbly. Bismillah. Damn. The closing of the eyes as mm. well. It's like too crumbly though. It's like undercooked. But that's not going to stop you. What I love about Foodie Beauty is I think that she's like putting on a facade so often because whenever you go on her live streams and somebody asks her a question she doesn't like, she usually goes off. And whenever you see her on videos, and I've always said this, right? It's very hard to maintain uh, a, an elaborate display. It's very hard to uh, uh, to display a mask for a prolonged period of time. You can might be, you might be able to do it on video because on video you can edit and you can also probably circumvent a lot of stuff that maybe you didn't want. That you maybe said something like, "Oh, my name is Foodie Beauty," and I, you know, I'm 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 a terrible, disgusting person or whatever. Or like me when I talk about BBCs and people continuously call me gay or whatever. Um, I don't tend to cut those stuff out because that is the authentic me. But for Foodie Beauty, she has the ability to cut out stuff that she doesn't want people to see or just choreograph how she talks. But when you're live streaming for like an hour or two hours or three hours or however long she's live streaming, it's very difficult to maintain an act for that long. So she's like perpetually on live streams herself. And I would say like after an hour, you really get to see her and she'll start talking shit. She'll start rashing people. It's awesome, dude. I really want... From the bottom of my heart, I just want that to be Foodie Beauty. I just want her to get in shape. I want her to lose the diabetes. I want her to stop eating as much as she does. But it seems like she cannot, given the fact that she's been trying to eat right for like the last year. And she's only managed to eat literally more. 
I mean, your goal was to lose weight and get healthier, and somehow she's managed to only get fatter and eat worser, which is incredible. Um, but that's the cycle of Foodie Beauty, continuously telling you that she's going to get better, but she never does. I just wish that she would just go on live stream and just rash people consistently for hours. Um, it seems to me that she's not good in conversation because she always gets her shit smacked up verbally whenever somebody challenges her. But if she was on live stream just talking shit, she's a master at it. I don't know where she got her talking shit ability, but it seems like she was in a Call of Duty lobby from like 2020, sorry, 2012. And she's like never prestiged from that. And like, it's awesome. It's always so great when she talks shit. It's my favorite part of Fruity Beauty. Oh, that's good. I do not like her eating though. The eating for me, I don't like it though. I just I don't like when people eat food. Um, I don't like seeing people. Oh, sorry, it's okay if you want to eat food. I don't like seeing people eat food, and I also don't like the way she eats food. It's almost kind of like she doesn't chew. I get that she doesn't have a lot of teeth left, but it seems like she doesn't even chew at all. It just swallows. Oh my god. Just big amounts of food as well. Blink. Oh my gosh. And she's always freaked out by fast food, by the way. And even when she makes her own food, she always fails. It's always the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. Seven up zero. <laughs> Why does that matter? Doesn't matter. If you're eating this amount of food and you're eating and you're drinking a zero calorie drink, it doesn't matter. Literally, the pizza alone is probably like 1,500 calories. So look at the chocolate, the chocolate uh, smush around her fingertips dude like there's there's just like she's like a warrior dude like she doesn't give a fuck she's gonna like drink she's gonna drink the blood of her enemies from their skull itself basically what a beautiful individual man i'm so hungry it's been hours since we both ate hours is i feel like foodie beauty has never been hungry in a day in her life dude i genuinely have no idea uh i i do not think that she's ever had an idea of what hunger actually is i think she has <laughs> She has a baseline understanding of it, but I don't think that she's ever been actually hungry. If she's only, it's been like, what, three hours since the last time you ate? That seems normal, Foodie Beauty. I don't I wouldn't say I was starving. It's probably been three hours for me or, as well since the last time I ate, but I'm not struggling because I don't have a chronic food addiction. And she'll sit there and she recently said in a, <laughs> she recently said in a video that she doesn't want people to actually like take her serious anymore because like she sets herself up for failure so often where she'll say things like, guys, don't. Like, okay, I'm going to go on this weight loss surgery. I'm sorry. I'm going to go on this weight loss journey, and I'm going to make sure that I eat healthy, and I'm going to take care of myself. It's going to be amazing, this and that. And she probably does that for about two or three days, and then she reverts back to this because it's always easier to hit up the Uber Eats driver, have that dude pull up, and eat the disgusting slop that is displayed to you. And then she, after all that, she said... I just don't want people to look at me as uh, critically anymore. I just want people to like just watch my stuff and enjoy my stuff and stop taking me serious. Like don't have – don't think of me as like a good person or whatever. Like she just wants people to watch her without any consequences even though she's literally setting herself up for failure. It's beautiful, right? Isn't that great? Like she's basically saying don't take anything I say literal. Like <laughs> – okay, I guess, bro. These wings look so bomb. Jeez. Bone gone. Damn. Damn. Oh, damn, bro. I just wish there was something else that Foodie Beauty can do. Didn't she say she wanted to do, like, a gaming thing? Why doesn't she do gaming stuff? Why don't she just play Fortnite on stream for, like, four hours? Maybe that would distract her from the absolute outrageousness of the amount of food that she eats, bro. <gasps> damn, bro. She cleans it. I'll give it that, bro. Sometimes you meet dudes and they tell you, bro, I, yo, man. I really want, I want a bitch that can suck me off like a girl that puts a drumstick in her mouth and just, and it comes out boneless, dog. It's cleaned up. Yeah, I love that shit. That's, that's the definition of foodie beauty is just like that. And it's just a bone. No chewing, nothing. Just, just bone. Amazing. Why do you, I just don't understand the licking of the fingers, especially knowing that you still have all this food in front of you. Why do you need the residue, the remnants on your fingertips when you have so much extra food? I got super supreme pizza, just pan pizza. I don't like- I also really do not like, if you're grabbing the pizza and you're grabbing it from the inside of the, of the pizza instead of the crust, which is the entire purpose of a pizza. You grab it from the sides that don't have the sauce, the cheese, and all the other stuff on it because you don't want to get your hands contaminated with the residue on the pizza, right? It's the same reason why we have bread, okay? You have bread. Of course, bread is good, naturally speaking, but it's also there because it's like a barrier. It's a buffer. But for some reason, Foodie Beauty, I guess, doesn't give a fuck, and she just puts her fingers right upon the cheese. 
Can't do shit right. Stopped cross dot. Oh. Oh. Path. Um. Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. God damn, bro. You um, know, I think even though there are a lot of women out there that make this type of content online and they do it because they know that guys are watching it to beat off, I don't think that there are many do. I know she had OnlyFans at one point. By the way, can you believe that? Having an OnlyFans and then becoming Muslim. By the way, I don't think that she really embodies many of the Muslim qualities, but who am I to say? <laughs> who am I to say um, who, who or what? Uh, or how Islamic that she is, right? I know that she ate during Ramadan <laughs> because she said she couldn't take it. Um, she does a lot of stuff, you know, that a lot of traditional Muslims might not approve of. But who am I? I am very much not religious, but I do see a lot of people calling her out for that shit. I just really hate the way that she, like, with the way she's eating. I, there's no way that there is a guy in the comment section, like, just, I feel like if you were, bricked up at the start of the video by this point in the video you're just flaccid right your shit is literally on the floor at that point it's just slapping and you're probably thinking about what you're doing with your life you, you know you're no longer thinking about um how well you're about to water your shit you, you're not thinking about how you're gonna be smacking your shit up no you're thinking about what am i doing with my life like how am i gonna make my life better like what what are the processes that i'm gonna do in order to improve my situation that's what you're probably thinking about it's probably like you know when you're having sex with a girl it's, i've had this multiple times where it's like you want to keep going. You do, right? Because you know that this individual didn't heat, hit their apex, right? But then you're just like, you already did. And then now you're thinking, what are you doing with your life? Like, you're in debt. You know, you have all these problems, dude. Like, you should go to the doctor for that issue that you had, you know? You should probably go to the dentist. Get some blood work done, right? Go back to school. And you're just thinking, like, that's what you're thinking about after that happened. Have your pearls ready to be clutched because this is going to So I hope you have your pearls ready to be clutched because this is going to be this kind of video. And when it comes to my pet care, people like to clutch their pearls over every little thing. And that's what I'm going to discuss today. I'm going to tell you the full history story about Julia. And then I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Which she lied about. Like right after this, she did a live stream where she talked about it for like three hours. So nothing is consistent. Well, you know what? The most consistent thing about Foodie Beauty is the fact that she's inconsistent. Um, so basically, And food. Basically what's going on is I'm now being accused of being an animal abuser because... Yeah, so they're saying that FFG, this woman right here, if you can see her right here... FFG, which is a crazy picture, by the way. I don't... You know, like, she definitely picked a good picture to, to, to really rash FFG. I don't know to what degree, because I don't watch FFG's content. I don't usually watch many other reaction channels. Um, sometimes I'll tune in just to see what people are saying and things like that, which is one of the reasons why I have such a problem with people choosing to outline the things that are just completely irrelevant. But uh, she really hates her. She really hates FFG, like with a burning desire, it seems like. And I've always asked this question, why don't you guys just have a conversation about it? Like this, this consistent back and forth of you making this content, FFG making the reaction video, saying that you're a bad person. By the way, FFG's points sometimes don't actually track onto reality. People will call her out and she has no counter for it, but I guess people are okay with that. Um, but I just wish that they would get to in a call together and just talk shit to each other for 45 minutes. That would be the ultimate goal. My cat has not been spayed yet and she has been given two times, not once or three times, it's two times, a, uh, I don't, I don't know what they call it, a progestin shot. It's a hormone shot to keep her out of heat for several months. Her first shot lasted almost a year, exactly. Um, so yeah, they can last several months. The first one was administered by um, a different veterinarian, this one a different one, uh, two different veterinarians. But if you're gonna call me an animal abuser for give, getting her this shot, then you're also calling the veterinarian an animal abuser, which I can guarantee you 100%, they're not in the profession to abuse animals. Such a bad point. And this is one of the reasons why I think Foodie Beauty should never be actually talking about things of substance because that makes zero sense at all. It's like calling a person that performs abortions a murderer even though nobody's ever going to look at it like that. Like, that doesn't make any sense at all, dude. Nobody's looking at it like that. Uh, just because there is a procedure that is suboptimal compared to the main procedure, that'd be like saying, like, oh, yeah, because they're cutting into your animal and they're, like, getting rid of the egg sac or whatever they do or cutting off the balls as a, of a cat. They're technically an animal abuser because they're harming the animal. What are you fucking talking about, dude? It's such a bad fucking point. It doesn't even make sense in remote, in remote terms. And by the way, again, I just got to bring this up. If anybody's upset that Foodie Beauty's cat was in heat and you're thinking that's the main gripe, 
is that she didn't get the she didn't get the the surgery to remove the egg sac or whatever from the cat. That's not the point. Okay, I don't give a fuck. I I, I personally do not care, and that's not even a good point to be standing on. To be to be honest, it, the point should be really how was Foodie Booty. Even after, because she didn't get the surgery, what was the consequences of that, and how does she did how does she deal with those consequences? So the the consequences are the cat had the cat was going through heat, and instead of like making the the correct procedures, instead she just sat there and dealt with the problems of the cat and chose to ignore them. Like she just put the cat in another room, fed the cat food in that room, didn't let them out, or she would go downstairs and she would literally sneak upstairs to not wake up the cat to ensure that the cat didn't wake up so she didn't have to hear the cat meowing or whatever. She wasn't actually, she was not dealing with the actual problems. So she was making it more of an issue than it actually was, and she was not prepared to deal with the consequences of her actions. Um, I don't care if her cat wasn't fixed or whatever. You would need to call them that logically. Nope, you would not. That is a stupid point. That is something that doesn't make sense, Foodie Beauty. Because they are the ones who actually gave the shot. And actually, when we first brought Julia to the vet when she went into heat to, suggest, to see about getting her fix, which we did do, the vet was the one who suggested the shot for now. So this is also a manipulation tactic because basically what she's saying here is I was originally going to do something that was going to be beneficial for my cat, but the doctor suggested that I shouldn't do that and instead I should do this. So if you guys are upset that I didn't do this, well, it's technically not my fault because I was originally going to do that, but the doctor insisted that I did this. Just taking away accountability from these people. Like it's just... It's beautiful. I love it. Um, also, she's trying to reform the argument to make it seem like it's not as bad as it actually is. And for some reason, it's worked. Uh, people have chosen to believe this argument instead of the one that I've listed. Because she needed other treatments that uh, he wanted performed before she could be fixed. So here's the story. We got Julia from someone Salah knew. Don't care. And... They, that person that Salah knew, got them from somebody they knew. It's like, it's completely irrelevant. We got to skip ahead. And so we brought her to the vet almost right away. Um, the vet examined her, as a good veterinarian would do, and saw that she had like a skin condition. We had no idea about that he wanted to be fixed up first. So we had to take her where she gets her nails trimmed, get her a couple of these, uh, the special shampoo to wash her skin. Keep in mind, all this stuff is irrelevant. The only reason she's bringing it up is because the claim is that she is somebody that is mistreating her animals. Therefore, she has to virtue signal and has to say things like, well, I took care of my cat when it has skin condition. I took care of my cat when the cat was in dire needs. I took care of the cat. You know, all these things are just like just her saying that she's a good person because she took care of her cat. When the reality, like, I don't even know why she even chose to make this video. It's such a bad video. It's just like. You just shouldn't have said anything about it, to be honest. You should have just let it go. Get your shit. Get, she got the cat uh, the another shot, so that way she didn't have to get it fixed, which is fine. Like it's as long as the end result is literally the cat is not suffering from the effects of being um, in heat and you not being able to take care of that cat in, in an appropriate situation. It is what it is. To be fair, um, it is whatever. Is as long as it's it's happening, it's happening, right? Uh, I don't think I don't think for somebody like Foodie Beauty, I don't even think that she should be even in a position to take care of a cat. I, she can barely take care of herself. I mean, she's literally out here daily. And by the way, I know a lot of people will say, well, she is taking care of herself. She's living. Sure. If that's your definition of taking care of yourself, fine. Then I guess like crackheads are taking care of themselves or whatever. Like, would you say that a crackhead, somebody on the street that's like chronically abusing drugs, alcohol, that's homeless, that's only desire in life is to get that next high? I guess you would consider them to be, you know, like responsible individuals that should own pets, right? No, obviously not. Um, and that would have to clear up before she could be vaccinated. So then we had to get her vaccinated. And then we had to arrange to get her fixed. But we thought, you know, even the vet said there's no rush because she has this vaccine that can last up to a year. And it did not, not a year. He said actually 10 months. This actually lasted almost a year. So usually it's about between seven to 10 months, but it can last longer so um we just weren't really keeping track i guess of the exact date of when it would wear off another note is actually she, he didn't want to give her the vaccine while she was in heat because whenever she was in heat she was under more stress and just more you know 
tired and everything like that. So don't care. He wanted Completely to wait until after her cycle was over. Just not relevant to anything at all. I don't need like she's just bringing up random points. I hate when people just randomly start talking. I just wish there was somebody in the room that would just tell her to stay on subject, dude, because all these points are just completely irrelevant. Just or virtue she was signaling. No longer in heat because this injection would have put her out of heat within three days. So it's like almost like a form of birth control. Yep. Which even humans take. All right. So okay. nobody cares. Um. Again, if it was animal abuse... Okay, just keep bringing it up, That the fact... Hey, go ahead, yep, keep going. The doctor would be responsible for the animal. It's not how that works. I don't know why she keeps bringing up this, this dog shit point. It's the same thing if you said, like, it's animal abuse. Like, again... The reason why this doesn't work is because it's not a problem that she got the shot or she got the animal fixed. Either one would be fine or sufficient. I don't care, right? The issue is that you didn't want to deal with the problems of that. And like I said earlier, there are individuals within this community that are choosing to make the animal being fixed the problem. That's not the problem, okay? That is not the issue. But if you want to believe that and you're going to let Foodie Beauty get away with that, you can't. You can 100% do that. But just know that you're going to lose that argument because Foodie Beauty will beat you on that animal abuse because they're the one who recommended it to us in the first place while we took care of her other health issues um to say for a creator you know who it is to constantly make content on french fried girl by the way the basis that we abuse our animals is full defamation so what you gonna do about it so what you gonna do about food what are you gonna do about food beauty you gonna call her out you gonna say something about it Full defamation mm -hmm. and I might in order for it to be definite defamation it would have to be wrong I don't know exactly what foodie beauty is saying so I don't know if she's saying that the issue is that the animal is not fixed or like the, depending on the words that she's saying she could be correct but uh, I don't think any legal action is even warranted here she lives in Kuwait I don't I think French fried girl lives in Canada I don't think Foodie Beauty wants to engage in any activities, given the fact that she's chronically in debt over there, and that might trigger something that she probably doesn't want to. This is probably just harsh words to try to... It's like that one girl from a few months ago that threatened to sue me because I made a reaction video on her. It's just like... It's the equivalent of being online and then threatening to, like, beat somebody up. Like, I'm gonna... Ooh, I'm gonna, like, show up at your house, and we're gonna have a fight, and I'm gonna beat you up. Bro, you're cringe. Like, that's... What are you doing, dude? Shut up, dude. You know that's never gonna happen, and even if it did, you would just go to jail because, guess what? I have... I literally pay taxes for a reason. I'm calling the cops, dude. Might be in Kuwait now, but this person better hope... Better hope... It's, it's, just, it's such a pussy tactic. It's such a pussy tactic. Instead of, like, actually attacking the point or like defending yourself in any way you're just basically going to i will i might sue you like you better watch out that i don't follow through with a defamation True. case in the future you can laugh now but all of it in my on my side all of it's documented on their channel like they have these streams and all these videos and even if they take them down the internet's forever right so the internet is forever, and you said a lot of crazy stuff, Foodie Beauty, and you do realize everything that, that 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 people are saying about you, the reason they're saying it is because you put those videos up, you put those live streams up, okay? Anyway, because that, that's what it is. It's pure defamation, even... Just because you're saying, okay, in order for this to be defamation, most of this shit would have to be not true, right? So it would just depend on what they're saying as a consequence to what you're saying. Accusing me of animal abuse with BBJ, I have those files from the animal control who are responsible for animal abuse cases on my side they've always left our premises yeah but we're not talking about that right we're talking about this situation why are you talking about something that's irrelevant that has nothing to do with anything without any account uh without um deeming any abuse or neglect at all so that's it <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not revisiting old. Then why would you bring it up if it's, it's such an irrelevant point? You're basically saying, in the past, I was right. Therefore, how can I be wrong about this? Like, what do you talk? How could this be? How could two of these things curse simultaneously? I was right before, so that must mean I'm right now, right? No, that's not how that fucking works. It's like being acquitted for murder now and then later on stabbing somebody and be like, dude, how can I be a killer now when I was acquitted of it 10 years ago? What are you talking about? I know this is like a different crime. I know it's like completely different. But uh, what is your, like, what are you talking about? I was literally acquitted of that 10 years ago on a different case. Drama. There's just no way. Um, so back to Julia. So it was the vet who actually suggested keep, this while well, we could take about care that. of the other issues for Julia. Um, actually, as a side note, I just want to say, 
all of this is not really anyone's business how i take care of my pet yeah if but she's pet- bringing it up though the issue is like when when somebody says none of this is anybody's business it's such a bizarre point to me because the entire the entire reason why we even knew about any of this stuff to begin with is because foodie beauty brought it up many many times and people were asking her questions about it she freely brought it up upon the internet on a public platform with people that are concerned with her life she knows the dealio right the fact that you brought this up and now you are upset that it's none of anybody's business if it's none of anybody's business okay then why are people talking about it you made it a public thing that'd be like me saying it's none of anybody's business about my big long schlong like you know what i'm talking about like, you can't bring it up and then be upset that people are talking about it that's not how that works at all you can't do that it's it's my business as long as it's like you bring it to me to bring it that's like you actively having a conversation with me about something and then when i have an opinion on it you go why are you why do you even have an opinion on it why would you talk to me about it you're doing that with the entire internet so no that's a bullshit point pet she's being well fed she's spoiled with love uh yeah this is just virtue signaling basically saying okay first of all if your main claim was it's nobody's business and then your your argument for that is my animal's happy my animal's fed and has water what does that have to do with anything those two things don't even track it's just more virtue signaling and she's very comfortable here says who like if she was out on the streets of kuwait and the heat with no food shelter what are we even talking about right now can you imagine making this argument dude like oh bro trust me i'm such a good person because if my cat was outside my cat would probably die but because my cat is inside it's not dead therefore i'm just a better person for off of that baseline that is a dog shit point what are you talking about that's like saying like I take care of my child. If my child was not being taken care of, they would die. But I'm taking care of my child. Therefore, I'm a good parent. Is that really the, is that really the bar? Like you doing what you're supposed to do? You adopt an animal and your counter to that is, well, if I didn't adopt the animal, it'd probably be dead. No shit. No fucking shit. I can't even believe this is an argument point. Why would you even bring this up? And this is like another one of reasons. Footy Beauty should never make these videos, bro. She brings up terrible points. Like, I, my animal will be in a worse situation if I didn't take care of it. Or the vet is actually the person that's wrong for this because guess what? The vet did it. What are you talking about? What? In That's like saying like, oh, the vet, to, the vet put down my cat because I told him to put it down, but he's the one that did it. Therefore, he's the bad person. What are you talking about? What are even your points? Why are you saying this? You, you look worse when you say this stuff. Their water? Come on, you know? No, and not come on. The heat with no food, shelter, water. Come on. You know? Yeah, you're such a good person because you feed and water your cat. Good job. Good job, Foodie Beauty. The bare minimum? Wow, you're doing well. So um, there's just this person who has to keep making me, twisting things, making me out to be a villain so they continue to have fun. You're making it very easy, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep it a solid buck. You're making it very easy. And I'm not even necessarily against Foodie Beauty on most cases. Like, I'm going to look at things very neutrally. If somebody says something wrong, obviously, I'm going to call it out. So I'm not even on Foodie Beauty side. I'm not on FFG side here, dude. It, it, she's just making it too easy for people to just assault her verbally like this, dude. It's crazy. Content. Anyways, meanwhile, they smoke all the time hot box yeah that's a thing yeah smoking in front of your cat not not the best and their animals with their cigarette smoke so and yes i do smoke shisha once in a while you can't you can't bring something up and say this person's a look, look if you're gonna say that i do that what hold up this person is smoking around their animals that's terrible that's diabol i can't even believe that they're doing that oh my god this person is real i do it too I mean, I do, I do do too, but they're really bad. Do you realize that when you said that that person is bad for doing that, and then you say that you do it as well, that you are actually passively telling us that you are also a bad person for that? Uh, okay. All right, dude. Cool. No, but I'm not here accusing people of animal abuse, am I? You're literally, you just literally did that right now. You just literally, you didn't say the words verbatim, but you did that the... Dude, the the idea of what you said, okay, is that you were accusing her of that. So, okay, whatever the the implication of what you were saying was that. So, um, I just foodie beauty should never make these fucking videos, bro. It's just so terrible, dude. I just 
we have to move on let's move on to the let's move on to the new journey dude okay like i'm, I'm sick of this shit I, I i can't listen to foodie beauty talk for more than five minutes without like literally raising my blood pressure because all of her arguments are always so bad i just wish that she would hit me up before any of these arguments went in place and so she could tell me what she was gonna say so i could tell her hold up don't say that that is actually insane. Like, you get no value out of saying any of this stuff. Obviously, I would never help her on this, but it was just like, it hurts me so deeply that she just sets herself up for people to just home run her consistently, and it's all her. Like, she's just giving everybody so much evidence. But anyway, let's go to the Taiwanese or Taiwan thing, or not not Taiwan, what is it? Uh, Thailand, sorry, yeah. I'm gonna miss you, babe. I'm gonna miss you so much, you and the pets. Oh, just uh, take care of yourself and have a safe travels. Thanks, babe. I love you so much. Love you too. It's, it's like the cringiest, it's so outrageously, it's so forced. And I get that they're in Kuwait. So there's laws against like, there's laws against showing public display of uh, affection. I get that, right? But dude, it, it, it's just so ungenuine. It seems like these people, this is the first time they've ever met. And they just were forced to say this to each other. It's so cringy, dude. They have no chemistry together. I have no idea why they're together, dude. This is actually insane. She's like 40, right? And he's like, what, 30? I don't know, man. Whatever, bro. I'm not saying it can't work. But by the way, she's sweating like crazy. And she's also out of breath. Yeah, like, goodbye, honey. <laughs> Cute. Yes, the most physical interaction she's ever had. The shoulder, the hand on shoulder. What a beautiful person. I hate goodbyes. Oh, me too. Take care, honey. I love you. Goodbye. So the flight to Amman was short, so they just offered a snack, which was a curry, vegetarian curry chickpea puff and a piece of cake, and it was actually... I just want to point it out that she's not using the tray in front of her. If you guys can see this tray right here, this like little thing, you pull that to the side and it like drops down in front of you. That would be physically unable to occur, given the fact that her gut protrudes out so incredibly far that the tray in front of her would literally like bounce off almost off her stomach. So she has to use the middle tray, which is very, very sad because if you are so fat that this tray can no longer extend down and you have to use the middle one, you are just... Do you not see how sad that is, dude? Like, the fact that Foodie Beauty just lives like this and does nothing about it. And I guess I understand she has an addiction to food and things such and so forth. But, dude, it is so jarring. It is so uncanny to see how Foodie Beauty lives and just does nothing about her situation so crazily. All right. Um, I picked up. You saw what I picked up. These donuts. These little, they're like fried dough with this, like, sweet coconut pan. I think it's like a pandan sauce. So let me just try one for you guys. Beauty bite. Damn. I won't even tell you. There's like almost no chewing of food. I do. They're super cheap and I wanted to like support their business and stuff, so. Yeah, no, um, she just wanted to buy those. Water. She, nah, it's not about supporting their business, dude. What are you talking about, dude? Why are you always trying to make it seem like you're a lot better than you actually are? It's okay to say, like, oh yeah, I'm supporting Dunkin' Donuts every time I go in there and get their coffee. I'm supporting McDonald's every time I go in there and get their dollar cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm so I'm totally supporting their business. All the way here. So. I don't also like that there's a random like Korean guy on the water. I don't know what like is that like a is that like an added benefit? Like you buy the water and you're like, dude, yes, this is exactly what I need. A Korean guy on the water, not drinking the water, just going like this with the water bottle next to his head. I have to put that away. Um, I needed a new charger, so I just got one for 99 baht. I love how their drinks come in this little bag. So I just put ice because ice will feel good on my throat. And actually. I'm gonna pour one of these bad boys. Zero sugar. Okay, look, I'm not going any more into this, dude. Uh, if you ever wanna like check out some foodie beauty stuff, we're always watching stuff like that on stream. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out our live streams on the channel. We usually stream around 6 p.m. EST and you can actually check in the channel description and I tell you exactly when we usually stream and things such as so forth. But anyway, I don't like foodie beauty. I think that she lies about a lot of stuff. I think that her relationship is a facade. I think that she's a terrible person. Most of the time, I'm sure she has redeeming qualities in other, in other places. She doesn't take her health serious. And then she blames her audience when we tried to help her. And she doesn't want to help herself. And then she also 
gaslights everybody into thinking that the pro like she'll go into issues and then she'll completely lie about those issues later on even though the evidence is still up on her channel she'll tell people what the she'll try to like repackage what the issues are and try to make it seem like those are the issues when now reality are not the issues but it's crazy that people actually do believe her which is insane it's almost kind of like it's almost kind of like people don't have critical thinking skills but regardless you're an amazing person you're beautiful you're awesome i love you um, if you watch the video in its entirety, sorry, if you, yeah, if you watch today's video, I appreciate everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff, I would appreciate you tremendously. Thank you so much for doing any of that stuff. Uh, if you watch the video and in its entirety and, or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in donkeys i feel like they deserve I, I feel like they deserve love they're not like as cool as horses but they got their place they got their they do what they got to do and they're cool people i feel like a lot of people got to get the recognition for donkeys they're not just cool people in shrek they're cool people in general but uh anyway write that down below or if there's like a donkey emoji or something close to that you can go ahead and put that down there too i love everything about you you're an amazing person you smell really great thank you for enjoying today's video i really appreciate the floss that you were doing you have made your teeth sparkle oh my god it's so beautiful you're so beautiful you're so amazing you're so handsome you're so awesome everything about you is awesome and amazing and great anyway we're gonna end the video here um enjoy the rest of your day guys